Hello guys and girls, welcome to another unboxing video and today we have click crates. So excuse the camera angle because I haven't changed it from when I was streaming last night. Uh, so here we are. So the click crates has arrived, uh, we're doing an unboxing and that's about it. So uh, whatever comes out of this box, if it is good, I'm obviously going to give it an up. And then if it's not so good, I'm going to give it a down and then we'll do pricing at the end to make sure that what we get in the box is worth the volume which we pay for. So. This box is a little bit on the small side and I've stripped the seller tape and we're ready to dive in. Um, I'm quickly doing this on uh, tonight because of, uh, the, the whole house is a mess. Everything's up in the air. <sighs> so I'm getting this done and I'll be editing over this weekend. So by the time you see this, it'll be probably three or four days in the making. But there we go. So uh, OK, so we've got a plush. Does that feel like a plush? It is a plush. It's a Harry Potter plush. And his hair looks well weird. Oh, jeez. What's it? What, what's, he's grabbing something. Oh, I don't know. He looks like he's uh, conspicuously grabbing something under his robe. Um, uh, That hair, man. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think even a hardened Harry Potter fan... Um, may have issues with this one but i'm gonna give it a down i think yes i'm gonna give it a down there we go i'm, I'm sorry it's it is what it is let's move on oh gosh oh there's a lot of soft actually there's a lot of soft stuff and one big box oh no there's a few okay so if i go for this it's there we go it says Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Transformation Circle Doormat. That is a hell of a title. So it's a doormat. Right, so I am. I am going to pop this out of the plastic uh, because I, I want to have a look at it. Full Metal Alchemist. It's not something I've watched. It's not something that. Uh, what is the picture on it? No. Let's get this open. There we go. Okay, so that can, I'm just going to, I'm going to precariously slide this. I want to see what it is. So I'm going to precariously slide, slide that off because I can see me putting this up for sale on uh, um, eBay. But, all right, okay. So the, the patterning's pretty cool. I'll give it that. But a circular doormat? I don't know, most doormats are very rectangular, you see, because because uh, that's the shape of doors, isn't it, you know, but, um, again, yeah, I don't know, I don't want to keep giving downs, really. Yeah, okay, well, no, yeah, it's, I'm going to have to give it another down, unfortunately, I mean, it's folded to death, which obviously isn't Click Crates' fault, this is just how these are packaged, um, but Full Alchemist, Circular Doormat? I'm getting, uh, oh, what's the, uh, what's the name of the box? They even did a Solid Snake 2662 box for me. Uh, I came then and went, oh, uh, anyway, those people. It's giving me doormat vibes. Doormat vibes. But yeah, that's, that's such a disappointment. Two downs. I'm sorry, Harry, but you are fugly. And doormats? I thought we got over doormats. Right, okay, so it's black and yellow. I don't think it's another doormat. It might be a, like a beach towel, actually. I'm getting beach towel vibes. What is it? Uh, okay. Is it Transformers? No. It's a mystery. Is there a tag? Is there a tag? There's no tag. No license. What? Okay. So, I'm getting a ship. Of some kind, so... It's probably upside down. Okay, so that's upside down. So let's, let's stand up. Let's... Uh... So... Spaceship blasting off. It's a spaceship blasting off. 
it's a spaceship blasting off but I've no idea what it's from, where it's from, what franchise it's from. It's unbranded. There's no tag. There's no washing instructions. Okay, I'll put that over there for now. Okay, I'll put it over there for now. Right, okay. Um, I'll give it an up purely because it's probably the best item that we've had in this box so far it's a random spaceship it's unbranded so we don't even know if it's actually from a franchise and that's red flags you know what i mean that that's giving red flag vibes that is but i'm gonna give it an up because it's the best item we've had so far and i don't think i've ever had a towel i have had a towel uh, but that was from the uh, the amazing mystery box, not the amazing mystery box. Don't unbrand it. It's the world's finest collection. When I got the big Starro beach towel, but that was branded. That was you know. But there we go. So right, let's go with this big box because this is uh... okay. Another right. Okay, so we've had yet another mortal kombat qfig i think we had sub-zero last time and now we've got scorpion so i'm gonna leave this in its box just like i did sub-zero um because sub-zero is currently on ebay at the moment um i don't think i've sold it yet no um i'll give it an up because qfigs are amazing fair play you know i will give that one an up i do love mortal kombat fantastic um but yeah that's two Two Q-Figs, two... Well, it's not the fact that it's two Q-Figs, it's two Mortal Kombat Q-Figs, both of which don't really collect, but there we go. But I will give it up purely based on the fact that it's Q-Fig, so... Um, Firefly, wow, there's a name I haven't heard in a minute. Firefly, well, there we go. Um, It looks like it's a, PV, it's a mystery PVC figure from Firefly. Uh, so that's the collection of them all there on the back. It's a mystery item. And Firefly, again, I absolutely loved Firefly. I really do. But I don't love it enough to um, open this and see what character I've got because I don't care. Um, but I'll give that one an up. That's uh, that's that's not bad. You know, it's, it's a mystery little figure. Oh, that will be going on eBay. Um, in all fairness, because I don't collect Firefly in any way, shape, or form, I don't. Uh, but there we go. So that is yet another up. I'm sure. I felt. Is this another one? It is. So we've had two mystery um, Firefly characters. Hmm. Are they empty in their shelves of stock that's not shifting? That's the that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. But it, I think because we've had two, because technically they could be the same character because they're both little mystery boxes. So if you get two characters that are the same, that'd be a massive kick in the nuts, wasn't it, really? So I think I'll give the first one an up, but the second one I'm getting a down now. Uh, is that it? Right, okay, so that is it for click crates. Oh man, I, I've got to be honest with you, in the two plus years that I've been unboxing click crates, this is a world first for me. This is the first time I've ever given a click crates more than one down, I believe. Um, I believe I might have given like a mega box, like an item or two a down, but to get three downs in one box, I mean Harry Potter looks like an absolute dweeb, that's... I don't know, that's challenging for even the most hardcore of Harry Potter fans, I feel. Yeah, so, um, I don't know, man. I'm going to do some pricing. I'll be back. So, after doing... Right, before we get into prices, actually, I want to make a little disclaimer. I want to apologise about the beach towel. It wasn't unbranded, but it does say Firefly on it, but then there's no tag to say who made it, so that could just be some weird generic Firefly beach towel. It might not necessarily be specifically branded, you know, like, uh, I don't know, Disney and Warner Brothers. I know Disney and Warner Brothers probably don't have anything to do with Firefly, but you know what I mean. It at least comes with a, a tag of pride to say, this is our product, we're happy with it type of thing. Anyway, so... 
Uh, so we're going to do some prices as per the use, but the fire, the beach towel is says Firefly on it. That was my bad. Okay, so we're going to crack on with some prices before every, every oh, the amount of people that comment on my videos before watching the whole thing. Like when stuff like this happens, they're like, oh, well, you did do this. It's like, well, I found that whilst I was doing the pricing and I didn't realize that. And now I know it. So there we go. Uh, right. So the prices. So for the, we'll start with the beach towel, actually. Um, now, this is a bit. Ooh, can they do that? But the only person that's selling that type of towel is Comic Warehouse, the people that do click rates, and they're selling it for 16 quid. So, in the spirit of this channel, I have to give it £16. I don't agree with £16, but it's £16. So there we go. Now, another thing that I discovered, another disclaimer before we start, that this Harry Potter, as ridiculous as he looks, is actually magical sounds. That was very good timing for that t sound effect to play. Fair enough. So he does make sounds. So that makes him slightly cooler than what he was earlier. But he's still a down. Uh, but anyway, so the Harry Potter, uh, the cheapest I managed to find this was a tenner. Again, I don't agree with a tenner. Uh, but it's a tenner. I've got to give it a tenner. So... All uh, right, let's get these two Q uh, figs, Q uh, bits out of the way. Um, now, I, the managed the the, the the cheapest I managed to find them online is two pound fifty each. So for the two, I'm going to obviously give them a fiver. Um, there are people selling those things for like fifteen quid, which obviously I don't agree with. But the, I did. This is pretty much the only price and the actual Scorpion Q fig that I actually agree with. Two pound fifty sounds right to me. So. A fiver for two, no problem. I've got no problem with that. Um, speaking of the Scorpion Q-Fig, uh, we're going to give that £12, because that's how much that was. For Q-Figs, anything around the £15 mark is about there or thereabouts correct. I know that you can pick them up in uh, B&M for slightly cheaper at the minute, because I was in there literally yesterday, and I saw... I actually saw the Scorpion one, but I didn't really pay much attention to the price, Brian. It's around about the... £12 mark, but there we go. Because um, someone said something about the Sub-Zero uh, to me, saying, oh, well, in B&M it's this price, but there we go. But that was, like, what, last... a month ago? Two months ago when we had the Q-Fig Sub-Zero? Anyway. Um, and then the last thing to come out of the box um, was the Full Metal Alchemist uh, doormat, circular doormat. Again... Oh, the... <sighs> Okay, so the cheapest I managed to find the doormat uh, was about was it was actually fifteen quid. Now, if you was to actually search online for that doormat, people are charging thirty five quid plus for that doormat. But uh, I managed to find it from uh, from a website, and they were charging fifteen. Um, so there we go. So that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the box. I am. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I'm disappointed to the point where I might actually cancel click rates. I said it. Um, it's it's not obviously been like, oh, be based on this box alone, but it's been based on uh, the past uh, couple of boxes have been going downhill. So it is what it is. Um, they've got to the point. Well, I say they. I mean, Paddy is an awesome fellow in all fairness. And Holly does. Uh, is it Holly? Holly does the uh, the social media on TikTok, and they're doing a fantastic job. You know, I'm I'm not gonna slap anything out of people's mouths, but the, just the quality of the box um, for what we used to get for twenty five quid to compared to what we're getting now for twenty five quid, uh, it's 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 not even in the same ballpark. I don't feel anymore. So I think um, for the twenty five quid, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save my money. And from now on, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to solely base my... Well, I don't really do much YouTube now anyway. I mean, this is the one video a month that I produce. Um, and so what I was thinking of doing was just doing the Mega Boxes uh, when they come out. Um, speaking of which, the Mega Box 10 is uh, available on click rates right now and it's got batman and it's got a picture of a bat cave uh on the poster itself and it looks awesome and i'm so i'm gonna cancel my 25 pound for october and i'm gonna put that 25 pound then towards the mega box so it's only really costing me 75 quid 
Um, and then that's because um, uh, I've had a bit of news uh, about me, uh, my um, my body, and it's it. I don't know. It's going to derail things massively, and uh, depending on if I've got the energy, the time, or the patience uh, to do a video, I don't know. Uh, I, who knows? But yeah, so. Um, I've got to go through uh, stuff, and I think it might be better if I was to slow, well, I say slow down, I've already slowed down, I'm, I'm practically stopping YouTube now. I think what I might do um, is I might move my streaming from Twitch to YouTube. I don't know, I haven't made that decision yet. Uh, it's a big decision to make. Um So, I don't know. But there's there's a lot of stuff in the air at the minute, and there's a lot going off. Um, on top of that, we've got a newborn as well, um, which is going to make it harder. And Christmas is around the corner, so I think this Christmas is going to be a little bit uh, solemn, uh, I believe is the word. Um, so I think, uh, so there we go. So, you know, I, I don't want to go into it too much, but, you know, I've got a lot of stuff going off at the minute. Um, money is not one of them. It's not like I can't afford to keep going on. That's never been an issue. Um, well, it has. Uh, when we obviously had uh, had the little one, I did slow down massively. But in all fairness, I could have kept going. Uh, but even those companies that I used to get back in the day, m the majority have closed down. There's only click rates and the amazing mystery box that is actually still running now. Uh, the Z box doesn't really well doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I went on to Superloot's website because uh, I thought, oh, I might have a look see if Superloot's still operating and take that up again. They've stopped trading uh, for mystery boxes. <clears throat> um, who else? The amazing mystery box. The, mess, uh, the amazing world's sorry, the world's finest collection in America. They've stopped. They no longer do the mystery boxes, the 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 seasonal ones. They never they don't do that anymore. So uh, I think what I might do for well, what I am going to do now from going forward is I'm literally just going to do the mega boxes, and that's if. I fancy getting it at the time so this may be well the mega box 10.0 might be the last video that i do on this channel i might bring my streaming over to youtube um i might have a play around with youtube shorts if that's the thing uh to see if that's uh doable you know i love making content for you guys i really do i absolutely love making content and it's been my thing for the past three years now and uh it comes to a point where maybe i've got to grow up a little bit that's never going to happen uh but uh but yeah so this, look, things are happening uh, everything's up in the air i can't make promises to anybody anymore i can't i can't keep those promises if i did so i think it's just going to be mega boxes from now on and that's if uh like i say it depends what mood i'm in at the time um if it's something that i want to do at that moment in time if you know what i mean so uh but we'll see we'll see we'll see um but obviously for you guys that have stayed with me for the past three years um thank you so very much it's been absolutely amazing you've you've all been fantastic the competitions that i used to do were amazing i used to love uh sending you guys stuff uh stock that i had left over uh putting a mystery box of my own together and sending it to you i, I used to love that stuff um you know the interactions that i got with you guys i've uh, met quite a, a lot of you uh which is awesome um i still talk to uh, quite a few of you on twitch and uh, i still get emails every once in a while saying hey you know how are you I, you know don't see you that much on youtube anymore the the email address that i used to use is still open uh the solid snake 2662 at hotmail.com that is still going still get messages on there from people um saying what they want to see on my channel but um like I say i've had I've not had the best news in the world, um, so I think I'm going to take a massive step back and focus on what's important, and uh, I think getting better, going through what I need to go through, and coming out the other side smiling is my biggest priority right now. So, um, so yeah, so there we go. So, sorry to end on such a yeah, down ending, and I apologise for the length of this video, because uh, as you all know, when I start rambling, I don't stop, but there we go. So uh, I want to say absolutely thank you. Thank you to everybody. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Ta-da!